Hey, John here from Web Agents. Thanks for joining me in this video. What we're going to be talking about in this video is about creating your privacy policy. So one of the important legal pages for your website. The good news is um, you don't have to spend any money creating a privacy policy. Uh, look, you, you can, um, I'm going to share with you a free resource that you can use. It's totally free. Uh, however, having said that, look, I must, I have to make a disclaimer that I am, am not a legal professional, so I can't offer you any legal advice and every business is different. So if you want to be hundred percent sure that you've got all your bases covered, let's talk to a professional. Okay. So anyway, uh, having said that, if you, um, looking to create a privacy policy page for your website which you definitely want to do because um, one of the one of the reasons why you want to is for not only for legal reasons but also for SEO reasons for Google ranking reasons so Google will um, it'll help your Google rankings if you have a privacy policy page okay so having said that so th there's if you do a search on uh, Google for free privacy policy generator there's lots of different sites i'm going to share with you one of the ones that i personally use and i think is fantastic and it's um privacy policy generator.info is the site and the reason why i like it is because a lot of some of these so-called free services if it's for a personal site they'll they'll be okay but as soon as you mention you're a business they're going to charge you money they're going to want to charge you you know 14 dollars or whatever they charge for their to generate a privacy policy with them so with this particular site it's absolutely free so um, so if you go here yeah, to pri privacy policy generator info you'll come see a site like this a page like this and in here you can enter your company name so I'm doing this for my site John's likes so I'm just gonna call you know whatever your company name is you can put in there your website name, John's likes, URL, John's likes .com. It's not secure yet. Okay. In a future video, I'll show you how to make an SSL uh, HTTPS site. Very important for Google ranking as well. Very, very important. Okay. So got the information there. Does do you use cookies on your website? I'm going to say yes. Do you show advertising through Google AdSense on your website? In this particular website, no. Do you show advertising from other parties except Google? I'm going to put uh, yeah. Actually, I do. Yeah. All right. So let's go to the next. Okay. So where is the business? I'm in Australia. I'm in Queensland and my email address. So I'm just going to put um, my Gmail one there. All right, generate my privacy policy. I think for the email, it doesn't matter what you put. I'm pretty sure from memory, the email is not actually referenced anywhere on the privacy policy um, that it creates. So here it is. So it's created it there. Oh, actually, no, I'm totally wrong. It does reference the email. So there you go. Um, so that's a privacy policy. So you can go ahead, you can copy that, paste that into your privacy policy page. Um, I wouldn't link, I wouldn't link to the one that they're hosting. So they're saying, oh, we, we've, we've created a page on our site for your privacy policy if you want to just link to outside no um, or here we go this is good copy text so this is the html code there you can see the different tags and whatever all right so let's say i want to copy that copy that text there all right now coming back to our site so we're going to, i'm going to create a new page i mean, I mean WordPress back end of my site. I'm in the pages area and I'm going to create a new page. All right. 
I'm going to call my page privacy policy and I'm going to go into um, where do I go still not very familiar with this um, whole this new WordPress here we go code editor I'm going into the code editor and I'm gonna paste cop control V paste what we copied all right and because I've got my privacy policy heading up there I can delete that headline they created for me um, okay so that's all good and if I want to see actually I'm just going to publish that let me just publish are you sure you want to publish yes I do alright privacy policy is now live and I, I like the um, the URL it's given there too if I don't I, you can always change that but that's good privacy dash policy okay so let's see what it looks like Great, beautiful. There's our privacy policy. Um, and and what you'd want to do with your privacy policy on your website, you want to have it in the footer so it's on the footer of all pages. And a way you can do that if you every WordPress theme's a bit different. Um, like if you go into appearance and then customize. I'll show you a couple of ways. I'll show you so I'll show you this way through the customize. So I'm using the Astra theme. Okay, so I can go here to the footer area, footer widgets, and all right. So it's giving me the option of no widgets or four. And Okay, well that's I'll just I'll just publish that there. Let's go back. Okay, let's go into back to appearance. Let's go to widgets. So either yeah, either in that customize area under footer, it'll give you the option to put links and so forth, or here in the widget section. So maybe in the in the last widget area, um, I can put. There's a few ways I can do it. Um, I can just drag this. Um, actually, I show I show you a really good way to do it. I'll show you a way that. Um, works well for the long term so I'm going into again appearance menus we're going to create a special menu we're going to create a new menu and we're going to call this menu name we're going to call it legal pages the legal pages menu because you know you're going to have a terms of service or terms of use legal page you might have an earnings disclaimer or, or uh, affiliate disclosure earnings disclosure affiliate disclaimer legal pages there's a few different ones you can create anyway so we're going to call this menu name legal pages and I'll show you in a moment why we're creating a special menu for legal pages so in this new menu we're going to tick privacy policy and add it to the menu okay and we're going to save that and you can notice here actually it says footer menu I'm going, to, I'm going to tick that as well actually all right let's save this menu I'm gonna see what that by ticking that if that's something let me just refresh our website okay no anyway um, so what we're gonna do so we've created this new menu called legal pages we've got our privacy policy in there we can add more later we can add our terms of service there Alright, so if we go back to widgets and we go 
back to um, footer widget number four, what we can drag in there is navigation menu. Right? We can drag navigation menu into section four. And section four, by the way, is just basically this section. So you've got four columns, and we're, we're working on this one here. Uh, okay, so if now um, I'm not going to give it a title. And I'm going to select legal pages as our menu. I'm going to save that. Okay, so now when we go back to our website and we refresh, let's try that again. Uh, I think maybe it's definitely in there. Let me just clear the cache. Sometimes if you make a change to the website and it should appear and it's not, Sometimes it can be your cache. So we're using Lightspeed cache. So I'm going to go into Lightspeed cache. I want to manage it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to purge all. All right. Let's see if that helped. Let's refresh our page. There we go. Beautiful. Now, privacy policy. Now, if um, in the widgets area, if we... If I put a title, so we kept that title area blank. So I just wait for this to come up. Okay. Um, if I did put a title, if I, it would actually appear as a title. Like here, we've got titles here. It'll appear, but I, di I didn't want to have a title. Um, now the reason why we created a legal pages menu and we added it to the that this widget section here is because later on, when we create our other legal pages like terms of service. We create the page, we go into menus, and we add our new terms of service page into the menu. It's automatically going to appear here as well. I hope that makes sense. And any other legal pages. So, um, so this other, these other sections, you might probably looking at this, thinking, "Oh, what about all these other sections here?" Well, here is where you can put things like in this section, this widget section. For example, number one, you can put your main, um, uh, you can put your um, address details, like so. A lot, what a lot of people will do, uh, sorry, text. So if I drag text up to section one here, and I type in something like, um, uh, so John's John's likes, uh, and then I can put my address like, you know your business address or PO box 2105 Queensland 500 and I can put my phone number if I want to put that my email other things I think you get the point so uh, and, and you know we can make that a Telephone link, all that kind of stuff. So I'll just be, I'll just be quick here. Okay, so let's say you know we're doing all this. Let me save. So that, that's saved there. If I go back to this page and we refresh, <coughs> excuse me. All right, let's just purge our cache. Come back here. Do a refresh. Okay, great. So. What you can do with these other sections is things like where you put your business address and your contact details. And in this section, this section here, you might want to put your um, your header menu items like, you know, about us and products and services. So you can create an, another menu where you put your main pages there. And this section here is might where you, put, you might want to put your... Uh, follow us links like your, you know, your Facebook or link to your Facebook page and your Instagram, uh, YouTube channel, etc. So if you go to a lot of other uh, websites, you can see what people are doing in their footy area, footer area, and that's what you do there. But I don't want to deviate too much away from that. But basically, so what we've done in this video, we've found a way, a place to create our privacy policy. We've created a new page, and we've the link to that privacy policy, 
policy in the footer of our website again for um, Google ranking okay which really really helpful now if you found this video helpful really appreciate a thumbs up um, below the video and and leave a comment especially if there's something else you need help with um, happy to well, you know always read the comments and happy to make uh, videos to help you wherever you get stuck uh, two if you need any help with online marketing whether it's your website advertising Google Ads or Facebook Ads whatever visit us at webagents.com.au and we'll be happy to help you all right thanks so much for watching this video